Today we are going to run through all the new features in the massive iOS 9.3 update recently released for iPhone and iPad. This is Andrew here from iDownloadBlog. The first new feature we want to jump right into is Night Shift. This utility, which can be toggled on or off inside of Control Center, where a new icon now is, adjusts the warmth of your display. So if you turn it off, you can see my display is a little bit more cool and a little bit more blue. And when it's on, it goes a little bit more warm, a little bit more yellow. The idea being that as you go more towards bed, you want less blue light. So it kind of takes that out of your display to help you fall asleep faster. If you go to the display and brightness settings, you have a few options you can configure, like scheduling it, whether you want to do a custom schedule or based on your location, sunrise to sunset. There's even a controller for the temperature, so you can make it more cool or make it more warm. Quite a bit of controversy actually surrounded this feature because it was popularized by the Flux application that Apple refused to allow on the App Store, even though they were implementing it themselves. That said, you can also pick it up for Mac, which I highly recommend. The next new addition comes in the form of new 3D touch gestures for many different stock apps. That includes the settings application, the app store application, the iTunes store application, the weather application, health application, stocks application, and even the compass application gets its first two 3D touch options, allowing you to jump into the level or jump into the compass. Up next is a relatively minor feature for most people, but it will be very useful for some. And that is in addition to the Apple Watch application that allows you to add multiple watches. This may seem silly, who would want to do that? But there are cases of people who have multiple, whether developers or just own many different watches. In iOS 9, Apple made some big improvements to the Notes app, and in 9.3, they've added even more. Now you have the ability to lock a note. Simply hitting the share sheet and then the lock button allows you to add a password and even use Touch ID to get into your notes. Even if you just want to use Touch ID, you still have to add a password as it's kind of the fallback. Once you have that added, there's a new lock icon on that top right hand corner, which allows you to lock it or unlock it and it'll prompt you for Touch ID to get in. Once you do it in the notes application, you can also set that up inside of the settings application. Just go down to find notes and you have the option to add passwords here. Also on the notes application is the ability to now sync any media that's been added to a note to your photo app. Let's hop now from our settings app to the health application. The health application has some new features that are going to be greatly beneficial to Apple Watch owners, and that is the addition of the activity metric. You can find it under all metrics under activity, and it'll allow you to view your move, exercise, and stand data that you're collecting from your Apple Watch. On top of that, if we look at maybe something like steps, workouts, or sleep, you can see this new slider that allow you to find applications to help you track that metric inside of the health application. For those out there that use the news application, there's now improved recommendations with suggested trending topics and editor's picks right in the for you section. It'll also now work in landscape mode on iPhone, which is a big improvement. And the last is kind of a small thing, but it was very useful, especially for publishers, is the ability to add video right in line. So now I can just put a video into an article and play it, which makes people not have to leave the application to jump to a video player. If you are in certain carriers like AT&T, you've had the ability now for some time to do Wi-Fi calling on the iPhone. With 9.3, that comes to Verizon. If you're unfamiliar with this feature, basically it means you can use your Wi-Fi network instead of having to rely on a cell signal. So if you have bad reception in your house, you can still get away with making a phone call crystal clear. One thing that's been highlighted in many of these OS updates released by Apple is live photos. There have been lots of enhancements added for Apple TV as well as Mac OS X. And there's been one small addition for iPhone as well, and that's the ability to duplicate a live photo as a high resolution still image. As we wrap this up, there are still a few more features such as improvements to iBooks. You can now sync that over iCloud, including PDFs. There's new improvements to CarPlay, like nearby feature in the Apple Maps and new abilities for Apple Music. The wallet application on iPhone has the ability to now have a little icon in that lower left hand corner to take you to the app that accompanies that pass. And even huge improvements to the education. If you want to learn more about the education features, there will be a link in the description below. So after all of those features, are you going to be updating to iOS 9.3? Let us know in the comments below and please subscribe. And until next time, this has been Andrew for iDownloadBlog.